What's up guys? Uh, I'm going to do a new hot sauce review. Uh, I just got back from the store not too long ago and uh, someone had specifically sent me a message to say you have to try the new flavors by Tabasco. So I thought, oh, Tabasco came out with new flavors? Cool, I'll check it out. Um, and while I was at the store today, it just you know clicked in my head and I thought, alright, let me go take a look. And I went over and I saw they had uh, two new flavors, at least the shop right that I went to uh, had two of them, so I picked them both up. So I'll do reviews on both of them. Um, so thank you, first of all, for the suggestion. Had you not said anything, I wouldn't have known there was new flavors. And uh, and secondly, um, new hot sauce review. <laughs> I, do, I have plenty of hot sauce. I didn't really need to buy any, but um, I do love Tabasco sauce. Uh, it's very widely available, so I figured it'd be a good one to review. These new flavors, I don't know if you have them by where you are. I would assume if your store sells Tabasco in general, they probably have the different flavors you know that they offer. Um, I don't really know though. Uh, the original you're going to find pretty much everywhere. There's also a couple other versions already. There's a habanero version, which is actually pretty darn hot. Um, there's the, uh, uh, the green version. Um, there's a garlic Tabasco sauce. You know, there's, there's a few of them out there. But anyway, this one we're reviewing is a brand new flavor. It's East Asian chili sauce. And it's supposed to be sweet and spicy. So you see the box here. It's got this like oriental writing on it and I have no idea what that says. Could say anything. But uh, let's see, this one is good by um, November 2012. So that's good. Good to know. And I wish they had smaller size bottles, but they didn't. They didn't have the new flavors in like the little bottles, which is really what I wanted. These were like $3.99 each, which is not, it's not a big deal, but I just didn't need this much because I obviously have enough hot sauce. But anyway, let's check it out. Give it a good shake. Shake, shake, shake. All right. Right off the bat, I can tell you it's definitely a darker color. It's like a real deep, um, deep, deep red, almost like a burgundy type color. It's definitely darker than the original um, Tabasco sauce. Today's knife. I know you guys have you guys have seen this before in a past video, but with thousand plus videos, who knows what video? But this is a desk set I got from a gentleman named Opa O U P A. His name is actually Dirk. Dirk Pottinger is his his name. He lives in Australia, and uh, he was an elderly gentleman when I got this. I don't know if he's even still living, but he did uh, knife modifications on knife forms. Really nice guy, and he got this piece of. Uh, wood, which I forget what it is, but it's an Australian local wood, and it's literally just chunky, pulled out of the woods, cleaned it up, shellacked it, and drilled some holes and made a uh, a knife desk set out of it. And the other hole, hole the other hole on it, you know, is uh, for a pen. Okay, it's got a nice leather bottom to it, an Australian penny flattened on the front and everything. It was really cool. It's one of my favorite things. It's like sentimental. It's the first like real friend friend that I met online, and he made this for me for free. And of course he used a, um, an old um, kitchen knife and designed, this is an Ontario, I believe. Yep, the True Edge Ontario kitchen knife. This is a parry knife and he put his own uh, handle on it with, again, the same type of wood. It was just a really cool little set. So this sits on my desk. I had it in my display case for a long time, but now I actually use it. I'm starting to think, you know, why do I have stuff if I don't use it? So if I don't use it, I'm either going to get rid of it or I'll just start using it. And this is one of those things that I just want to start using. So this will be my, for just for now, because I don't know where my cricket is, I'm still moving stuff. I hate losing things, but um, this will be my hot sauce knife for the time being. So I'm just going to cut this label off. And do this taste test and see what it's all about. Again, sweet and spicy Tabasco sauce, an Asian flair. Mmm. Smells, well, it smells Asian. And I, what I mean by that is kind of like a uh, teriyaki chicken meets sweet and sour chicken. It's definitely got that smell to it. Just smells like Chinese food. <laughs> I mean, can't really pinpoint. I mean, is that garlic, the chilies, but I don't know. If you smelled it, you'd say the same thing. Yeah, Chinese food. So anyway, there's no, this bigger bottle doesn't really have a small dripper. So you pour it on a spoon. Come on. There we go. Ooh, nice and thick, which I really like. It has kind of a a loose honey consistency. Oh, 
pouring a lot on my spoon here, but hopefully you can see that it is a, it's actually, I think a great, a great hot sauce consistency. It's, whoa, don't want to spill it. It's a, uh, like a sticky gooey honey. Honey is the best way to describe it. It's a honey type consistency. Oh yeah. It smells good. All right. So down the hatch. Mm. Wow, that's really good. Mm. Consistency. Let me try it again, make sure. But it seems like a gritty honey. I'm gonna try another another globule here because uh, yes, globule is a word, I believe, maybe. But uh, the first one was a little bit gritty. I want to make sure that the, the consistency is like that all throughout, but here's another taste test. Yeah, I'm just a little gritty. It's really delicious. It is. It's, it's well, sweet and spicy. The, um, mm. Sweetness is great. I did a hot sauce called Bee Sting, and Bee Sting was basically honey and habaneros, and um, this totally kicks its butt out of the water. It um, doesn't have a honey flavor, but it has a very, um, very good sweetness to it. But again, very consistent with the honey texture. And of course, you have that little bit of punch. Now, it's not, I personally don't think that it's as spicy as regular Tabasco sauce. So if you think Tabasco sauce is too hot for you, you might want to try this one. It is absolutely delicious. In fact, I would use this as a dipping sauce for, for Chinese food. In other words, I have a larger bottle here. What I might do is I'll just get a, you know some chicken breasts from the uh, the store, chop them up into little strips or little chunks, just really quickly, you know, pat them with some flour, um, fry them up, and uh, just dip this in this sauce like a sweet and sour sauce. It's absolutely delicious. So good job, Tabasco, on this one. I don't really, I don't see this as a hot sauce so much as I do a really good dipping sauce. I would say. Um, I don't know, for heat, one to 10, maybe like a two. A little tingle going on, but it's not hot, hot at all, which I think is great because it, it does offer mostly flavor with a little bit of heat. As far as flavor, out of a scale one to 10, I would give it a you know a solid seven, possibly like a really low eight. I think it's delicious. I think it's really good. So Tabasco sweet and spicy. Whoever suggested I try these new flavors, thank you very much because that's exactly what I did. And I decided to make my uh, my comeback hot sauce video. I haven't done one in a while. Doesn't mean I'm gonna do a bunch. The only other one I'm gonna do is the other one I bought for now, and that is, ooh, I can't wait for this, Tabasco Buffalo. I love buffalo. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.